Start a new game! <laughs> Play as me, Mickey Mouse! Play as me, Minnie Mouse! <laughs> Play as me, Mickey Mouse! Easy! Great! Let's get going! Gosh, Goofy, I'm so proud of Minnie! Just think, yesterday she was an orchestra leader, but today she's gonna be named Town Mayor! <laughs> well, I can't think of a better mouse for the job! Hope she still remembers us little guys! Ha, oh, Goofy, of course she will. Minnie's our best pal. Hmm, I sure do wonder where she is, though. She's late for the ceremony. Now, don't you worry, Mickey. I'll bet she's just getting spiffed up for the show. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. As you know, our dearest friend, Minnie Mouse, has been elected as our new mayor. But as you can see, she's nowhere to be found. Holy <laughs> word has it, she's skipped town. Therefore, by the power vested in me as your chief assistant junior deputy mayor, I hereby appoint myself as big cheese of this town. Ah, yes, the key to the city. No great mayor should be without one. Let the festivities begin! Oh no! This is terrible! Minnie Mouse is missing, and that scoundrel Big Bad Pete just elected himself mayor! Oh, Goofy, we gotta find Minnie! She may be in trouble! Minnie in trouble? Gorsh! This sounds like a job for my handy-dandy how-to-be-a-detective kit! <laughs> Now, don't you worry, Mickey. If there are any clues here in the park, I'll find them. And I'll check Minnie's house. Uh, hello? Anybody home? Minnie's house is the prettiest on the block. Gosh, it's Minnie's hair bowl. She'd never leave this lying around. Something must have happened. I better keep looking for her. Oh boy, mini sheet music. <laughs> Gee, there's all kinds of songs in here. My favorite is the lullaby. I'll pick this up. It's recyclable. Can recycle this. I'll pick this up. It's recyclable. Ah, uh, hey boy. <laughs> How you doing, fella? <laughs> Gee, you don't look so hot. Looks like you've got a nasty cold there, pal. <laughs> I always like to prop my feet up and read a good book at the end of the day. Minnie and I love to roast marshmallows in the fireplace. Oh, I miss that. <laughs> no time to daydream about traveling. Likely. How come you're tearing up the road? The new mayor likes to make changes. Big changes. Well, I'm not sure I like the sound of that. What happens when you're done here? We'll open up the road again, and then I've got a big project downtown to do. How much 
much longer until you're finished here. Oh, not too long. Say, uh, what's this thing you're working on, Professor? This is my revolutionary new flying machine. With this device, people are gonna be able to fly like little birdies. You mean like a rocket or a blimp or something? Yes, something exactly like that. But, you know, not exactly. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? It's just too exciting. I only need a few more pieces. A bicycle, a propeller, and a bathtub. That should do it. <laughs> you need a bathtub for your flying machine? Of course. Now excuse me while I make some adjustments. Gee, looks like you're working pretty hard. Do you ever stop to, to eat or anything? Oh, I had a wonderful recipe for chicken soup that I was going to make earlier. But uh, I wrote it down somewhere and I <laughs> can't seem to find it somewhere <laughs> where I wrote it down somewhere. Gosh, it looks like there's some writing on here, but but it's so small, I, I can't really tell. Say, Professor, uh, what's this? <laughs> Look at that! Bueller's famous chicken soup recipe. Now I remember. I wrote it down on my handkerchief so I could always find it when I have a cold. Gee, this is kind of little to be a handkerchief, isn't it? I invented an extra powerful dryer that does a whole load of clothes in 28 seconds. And it shrank all my laundry. Oh! I can recycle this. This is recyclable. I can recycle this. Help me. What are you up to, Goofy? I'm on stakeout. There's something fishy going on with these here trees. Well, why are you in a bathtub? I gotta stay clean, don't I? Well, I, I suppose. Say, Goofy, you found any clues? Well, actually, uh, no. Lots of trees, but no clues. Wow. Take a look at this, Goofy. What is it? Gee, it's a handkerchief. Gorge, that's the smallest handkerchief I've ever seen. That's better. Say, there are some little teeny pictures on here. Well, what do you know? I think it's a recipe for chicken soup. <laughs> look. Gee, thanks. You can borrow my magnifying glass. A smart detective always carries a spare. Excuse me, uh, Professor? I see you found my automatic soup-making device. Oh, huh, so that's what this is. Yes, and it is most ingenious. It makes soup. I built it for a nice lady at the restaurant downtown. Uh, uh, can I try it out? Well, of course. You're gonna be helping me by testing it. Oh boy, this is great. Here we go. <laughs> Even Pluto wouldn't touch that. Look out below! Yuck! Who made this anyway? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Presto! <laughs> sort of reminds me of a dinner I had at Donald's house one time. Hmm, that can't be.
be right. Gosh, that's pretty neat. Gosh, I wouldn't feed that to my worst enemy. Well, except for Pete, of course. Gosh, that's pretty neat. That's some tasty chicken soup. Give this a sniff and follow the scent. <laughs> Gee, I guess you really can't smell anything with that cold, can you? Here, boy, try some of this chicken soup. I hear it's great for colds. <laughs> How do you feel now, boy? Rump. Here you go, boy. Here's Minnie's bow. Take a good whiff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Attaboy, Pluto. Now go find Minnie. Go on. Get you out of there! Oh, Mickey, you're my hero! Of course, there's no door to this silly tower, so you'll have to find a way to get up here to the window. Just like Romeo. <gasps> well, Professor Von Drake did say he was making a flying machine. Maybe that could help. I bet you're right. Don't worry, Minnie. I'll get you out of there in no time. Oh. can recycle this. This is recyclable. Goofy, I found Minnie. She's right. Huh? Oh, what happened to all the trees? Gorsh, it all happened so fast, I'm not sure. It seemed like the trees got sucked straight into the ground. Really? That's strange. It sure is. Say, uh, Goofy, do you remember that factory being there before? Oh, uh, nope. I think it's new. Hmm. I'd better check for clues. Goofy, I found Minnie, and she's okay. That's great. Where is she? She's locked in the tower over at Big Bad Pete's house. Big Bad Pete? Oh, I should have known. I've got a plan to get her out with a flying machine that Professor Von Drake is building. A rescue operation? Count me in, old buddy. Aw, oh, thanks, old pal. How's it coming along, pal? I found a leaf. Any clues about the trees yet, Goofy? I think these holes in the ground mean something. So, uh, what do you make of those trees? I'm betting that factory over there has something to do with it. Boy, what a mess. I guess Big Bad Pete doesn't believe in cleaning up after himself. Wow, look at all this garbage. Somebody really ought to pick this stuff up. Good idea. Okay. Thanks.
Thanks. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. <sighs> the trash collector's work is never done. Ah, uh, excuse me, Professor. What is it? Minnie's in trouble. She's stuck up in this tower and can't get down. Do you think I could use your flying machine to rescue her? If it's not too much trouble. Well, of course. But you know it's not quite finished yet because I'm still missing <laughs> a few little pieces. Maybe you could uh, help find him for me? Uh, whatever I can do. Just let me know. Well, what I still need is a bicycle, a propeller, and a, uh, <laughs> a bathtub. Bicycle, propeller, bathtub. Got it. I I'll go get him right away. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to be inside putting finishing touches on the machine. Toodaloo. A greasy fork, knife, and spoon. Gee, I've never been in this restaurant. <laughs> Gosh, it looks sort of, well, greasy. Ooh, I hope the food's not as weak as the glue on their sign. Well, my goodness, there you are. <laughs> yep, here I am. It's about time. I called the agency a week ago. They said they'd send somebody right over. Well, I'm glad you're here now, honey. What? <laughs> but I was just a... Have you ever worked sandwiches before? No, but I didn't come to... Oh, oh, oh don't you worry about it. You'll be working with a sand automatic automated sandwich-making machine. That charming Professor Von Drake made it for me special. But, oh, oh, it's real simple. The machine gives you all the ingredients. You just put them together into sandwiches. You can start right away. But... Let's make sandwiches! Whoa, that's quite a mess! 
Why, I haven't seen the like since, well, since the big mustard boo, ha, ha. But you are doing a fine job. Why don't you just take a little lunch break right now? Okay. Greasy fork, knife, and spoon. Gee, I've never been in this restaurant. <laughs> Gosh, it looks sort of, well, greasy. I can recycle this. This is recyclable. Hello, and welcome to Mandy's Candy. Today, Mickey. Well, Minnie's stuck up in the tower at Big Bad Pete's house, and I'm trying to rescue her, but other than that, I guess I'm fine. Good. Glad to hear it. Say, are those chewy worms? Yes, chewy worms are so chewy they'll last all day. Here, try some. They're just like rubber. Rubber? Huh, thanks. How's business, Mandy? Pretty good, except I took a real bath on some gumballs. Didn't sell well at all. They were mustard-flavored. Mustard? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Have you heard about those new raspberry whiz-bangs? I got a case in yesterday. <gasps> Delicious. <laughs> Can I try one? I'm afraid not. I ate them all last night. Did I tell you that one of my regular customers, Cyrus Windbag, set the world's record for the biggest bubblegum bubble last week? Neat! How big was it? 15 feet 3 inches. It made a pretty big mess when it popped. They're still digging him out. Did you hear that Fern Featherhead is re-roofing her house with gingerbread? Oh, it would be great, except the workmen keep eating all the shingles, so it's going to take a long time to finish. Then why is she using gingerbread? Well, it doesn't leak as much as toast. Did I tell you that the people who made the mustard gumballs have a new product out now? Sawdust bars. I'm thinking of ordering some for the shop. Sounds tasty. <laughs> sort of. It sure does. Have you heard the rumor that Beulah Bunch over at the restaurant is sweet on that Professor Von Drake? Von Drake? <laughs> you don't say. She was in here buying a big heart-shaped box of chocolate whirligigs just the other day. Can I try one of those over there? Of course. Thanks. Oh, I think that was sauerkraut flavor. I'd like to try one of those little shiny things. <laughs> Certainly. Gee, thanks. Wow, that's a good one. I'd like to try one of those little shiny things. Be my guest. Thanks a lot. Delicious. Can I try one of those red things? Sure, here you go. Thanks. It's a little saltier than I thought. Well, I'd like to try one of those chocolate things. Of course. Gee, thanks. That one tickled my nose. <laughs> well, would you let me try one of those little round things? Certainly. Thanks a lot. Mmm, tastes like strawberry. Can I try one of those blue things? Of course. Thanks. Interesting texture. Sort of like sandpaper. Bye-bye now. Hello and welcome to the PG Bank. Mr. Penny Pound's the name. Um, how may I help you? Hi. Are you offering any special deals today? As a matter of fact, yes, we are. If you deposit as little as one dollar in our robber-proof safe, you will earn the most distinguished title of our one hundredth customer. What if I don't have any money? Then you may stay and admire our remarkable security system. No charge. Oh, gee, thanks. That basket is for new customers only. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you think I could borrow it for a while? Well, 
All right. You may borrow it until we get a new customer in here. How does that sound? That's swell. Thanks, Mr. Penny Pound. Excuse me, but what kind of bank is this? Why, my dear friend, this is the official bank of the city treasury. You won't find a safer bank in the entire town. Gee, I don't think there is another bank in the town. Is there? Oh, shh. Don't tell the money that. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Sorry, my friend, but I'm afraid you won't be able to get into our high-security vault, no matter how hard you try. Gosh, what's in there? Why, the entire town's treasury. Every penny this town has is locked up good and tight in the PG Bank vault. No one could ever break in. So long, Mr. Penny Pound. Cheerio. Pick this up. It's recyclable. This is recyclable. Wow, that's some one you got there. What? You say something? I said, this is some one you've got here, mister. Oh, gee, thanks. If only I could get this last leaf, it would be picture perfect. I hate leaves. Huh? Oh, it's you again! Come here, you! I'm gonna crunch ya! Gee, what's the matter? Well, no matter how long I chase this leaf with my blower, I just can't catch it! <laughs> Technology! Sure wish I had something easier! How's it going? Well, I almost had it, see? Almost had it in my hand! Then the blower blew it away again! Who invented this thing? A leaf? Don't you have something else you can try? I had a rake once! Traded it for the blower! What I wouldn't give to get that rake back! Here! Try this! Say! Nice rake! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nice rake. You're in for it now, Leaf. Gotcha! Just look at that lawn. I've been after that leaf for two months. Who knows how much longer I would have been out there if you hadn't come along. Swell. Glad I could help you. Yeah, whatever. Work day's done. And what a lawn. Time for some lemonade. Oh, boy. Lemonade. Yeah, catch you later. And thanks again. Gee, sure is quiet around here now. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hiya, Daisy. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Have you found Minnie yet? Uh-huh. Pete locked her up in a tower. That big bully. Is she okay? She's fine. But I gotta get her out of there. But how? Professor Von Drake said he'd let me borrow his flying machine as soon as it's ready. Oh, how exciting! Can I go with you? Sure, I guess so. I need a propeller, a bathtub, and a bicycle. Well, I'd lend you my work bike if those sneaky weasels hadn't taken it. They took your bike? Yeah, can you believe it? Honestly, how's a reporter like me supposed to get the scoop without her wheels? Gee, sorry, Daisy. If I find it, I'll try to get your bike back. Okay, and if you do, I'll let you borrow it for the flying machine. How's that? Wow, thanks! As long as I can come along for the ride. Daisy, you got yourself a deal. Hiya, Daisy. Hi, Mickey. Did you get my bike back yet? No, not yet, but I'm working on it. Oh. Those weasels make me so mad, taking a reporter's bike. Don't worry, Daisy. We'll get it back. Why, you'll be back on the beat in no time. Thanks, Mickey. You're a peach. How's it going? Oh, fine. Except for that cat, I guess. Hey, why don't you go home where you belong? Aw, poor kitty. He's just looking for a friend. Friend? He's looking for lunch. Poor little Luciano. 
won't even come down from his perch, he's so scared. Gee, that's just terrible. Goodbye, Mommy's little sweetums. You have a nice time and be home before supper. I'm sure he's in good company. Be sure to fly home before supper. I'll pick this up. It's recyclable. Uh, 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 sorry to bother you, officers. <laughs> oh, greetings. How may we officers of the law assist you? Well, uh, 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 my name's Mickey Mouse, and I was just wondering... Uh... Blah, 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 blah. Look, Mikey. That's Mickey. Whatever. The fact of the matter is, we do not got all day to be talking to annoying citizens like yourself. Mayor Pete has got a job for us, so that's what we're gonna do, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> we haven't slept for three days. And it has made us very, very so I'm straight. Gee, what a sore head. Why don't you fellas just take a nap? A nap? Oh, oh, that's a good one. Did you hear what they said, Wallace? Yeah, I heard it. In the first place, Munchie. That's Mickey. Whatever. Anywho, even if he would let us, how could we take a nap with all that racket? It's like a zoo around here! Do you hear something? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear some kind of music. Reminds me of a song Mum used to sing to us before going to bed. Oh, you're imagining things. Well, I'd like to have that bike, <laughs> if you don't mind. Look, we can't let you have the bicycle. You... you can't? But why? <sighs> Big Pete passed a law against bicycles, and he told us not to rest until we get all the town's bikes. Hey, keep your mitts off that bicycle. It's off limits by order of the mayor. But why? Because the mayor owns a big gas station, see? So he wants everyone driving cars. Don't you touch that bike, or I'll be forced to put you under arrest. Oh, speaking of arrest, arrest sure sounds nice right about now. Oh, if only we could get some peace and quiet. Hands off that bicycle, you! Gee, I'll never get that bike out of here as long as those weasels are on guard. Uh... Don't you ever get tired of this? Nope. It's very relaxing. Say, do you get a lunch break? It's about time for lunch right now, but unfortunately, I forgot my lunch. Again. Maybe you should get lunch at a restaurant. There is a sandwich place I like, but I'm not allowed in there anymore. Well, what if somebody brought you some lunch? That'd be great. Say, thanks! Horseradish on rye, my favorite! Lunch break! Well, I've always wanted to try using a jackhammer, but maybe now's not the time. <laughs> I've got to rescue Minnie. Hiya, Donald! Say, uh, what's going on? <coughs> Do you feel better? I'm in my vanishing cabinet. Your vanishing cabinet's on the other side of that busy freeway? Yeah! Uh, 
I'll do anything I can to get rid of that freeway and get your house back together. What, Mickey? How's Minnie? Minnie? Ah, she's trapped in Big Bad Pete's Tower of Evil. I'm working on a way to fly up there and rescue her. Can I go? Sure. Look, there's Donald's vanishing cabinet all the way over there. Hmm, maybe I can clear a path through these cars and get to the other side. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe we should all get out and walk. What's the big idea, huh? Ooh, thank you. I'll take Donald's vanishing cabinet trip back across with me. So you guys collect tolls, huh? You figured that out all by yourself. <laughs> well, how come it takes two of you to collect the tolls? I take the money, and Frankie here takes care of people who don't pay. What do you guys like to do when you're not in the toll booth? We're always in the booth. We never close, and we never leave. Does anyone ever get by here without paying the toll? Not while we're here. Yeah, they'd have to get rid of us first. What would it take to get you two to uh, disappear for a while? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> It's a brand new toll booth. See? I told you Mayor Pete wouldn't let us down. Let's check it out. Say, this is nice and comfortable. Yeah. Find a little mess. Oh, say, when was the last time you picked up around here? I don't know. Hmm, maybe you're right, Donald. I guess I don't want to go in there. I can recycle this. This bucket might come in handy. I'll pick this up. It's recyclable. Wow, that fish bit right through the line. <laughs> this ought to do it. Gotcha. to hold him. There you go, little fella. <laughs> Don't want you to get hungry in there. Gosh, it's stuck. Oh, boy, I got it. Gee, I better get this to... Sir Von Drake right away. Fabulous. It's perfect. Now we need, you know what? We need the bicycle in the bathtub, and it's gonna be ready to go.
Hello. Would you like to set up an account? Well, I... <laughs> no, of course you don't. Why should you? No one wants to trust his money with us now. Not after the robbery, that is. Robbery? Oh, yes, it's just awful, really. Someone came in here while I was getting a cup of coffee, broke into the vault, and stole the town treasury. Mr. Penny Pound, the door's not broken. The robber must have had a key. Only two people in the world have the keys to this vault. I have one, and our beloved mayor has the other. And certainly the mayor wouldn't steal the town's own money. Aw, oh, don't worry, Mr. Penny Pound. I'm sure the money will turn up soon. Still empty. <laughs> I just can't believe someone would steal the town treasury. <laughs> Hey, Wallace, you hear something? Oh, sounds like music. Where's it coming from? <sighs> up. Did you say yup? No, I said up. You know, like the sky. Oh, hey, it's those birds. Yeah. Hey, do you hear those birds chirping? Yeah, it's not bad, actually, now that the hammer's gone. Restful. <sighs> um, peaceful. That song they're singing is a little grating, though. Yeah, somebody should teach them something more... more... Relaxing? Yeah. Hiya, little birdies. Hey, I wonder if they would sing a song if I arranged them on those telephone lines. Save this song. Rockabye Weasel. Save this song. Your song has been saved. Hey, Wallace, you hear what I hear? Yeah, those birds finally found a decent song to sing. Well, it's about time. Watch the back for me, will you? I'm going to catch a few winks. Uh, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. You watch the bike, I'll just take a little nap here, okay? <laughs> I got it! I better get this over to Professor Von Drake right away. All it needs now is a bathtub, and we fly like little birds. How's the flying machine coming along? Oh, splendid diddly. Did I mention that it uses no fuel whatsoever? It's bicycle powered. It's better for the environment and a waistline, too. <laughs> wow, that's great. Ah, tell me about another one of your inventions. Well, I invented a thing that blows hot air at your head. Not only does it keep your head warm, it dries your hair if it's wet as well. Hey, how's the flying machine coming along? Oh, splendid diddly. Did I mention that it uses no fuel whatsoever? It's bicycle powered. It's better for the environment and a waistline too. <laughs> wow, that's great. while the machine's on, I'll get turned into a toothpick. Gosh, 
gosh, look at all this machinery. You know, if I can find my way through this, maybe I can stop the trees from being turned into toothpicks. Excuse me, huh, uh, Mr. Weasel? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, gee. Well, uh, it's like this, you see. Uh, Pete sent me to clean the tub. Uh huh? Ah, gee. And just when I was about to get behind my ears. Hold it, Louie. There was something fishy about this. F fish? Where? No, numbskull, I said fishy. Calm down. Whew. I'm scared of fish. They bite. You beat it. No one scrubs the tub unless I say so. Yeah. Excuse me, huh, uh, Mr. Weasel? Yeah, what do you want? Um, I've been sent by the mayor to shut down this factory. What? Criminy! I was just about to clean my toes. There are lots of creatures who need these trees. Birds, squirrels, even fish. F fish? Where? Keep your bubbles on. There's no fish in here, you got it? There isn't? I'm scared of fish. Get back in the tub! And you don't let me catch you around here again. Got it? Is it my turn yet? Nope. Hey, is that a fish I see in there? What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, oh, gee, Larry, what you trying to do? Keeping a heart attack or something? Whoa! What was that? Ah, what? Where? <laughs> it's nothing. I thought there might be a fish in here, that's all. but I think there's a fish in here. <laughs> You're imagining things. No, really, I just felt something. Ouch! Fish! Fish! <laughs> Look out! Oh! Hot dog! The trees are saved! That'll teach those weasels to mess with Mother Nature. This tub will be just perfect for the flying machine. I'm already going as fast as I can. We've got to rescue Minnie. I think I see the tower over on the starboard side. Starboard? Or is that port? I, I mean left. Oh, gotcha. Oh, did you say fish? What fish? <laughs> Minnie was here, but now she's gone. Let's split up and look for clues. Good idea. I can this room. Right. Minnie's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> Yes, Minnie must have sat in this chair while she was here. No, I think we broke those when we crashed into the building. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much the only way out of here. So Minnie must be somewhere through that door, don't you think? I think that's a spider. Spider? Mickey, it's Spider Nope, I think it's just a crack. Say, 
Hey, Goofy, you found any clues? Nope, I sure haven't. I'm worried about Minnie. We've got to find her. Oh, we will. We've got the handy-dandy detective kid on our side. Aw, <laughs> thanks, Goofy. Hmm, I guess that wasn't the combination. I think Pete must have Minnie locked behind that door. We could get inside if only we knew the code. Well, the handy-dandy detective kit doesn't say much about codes. It's got plenty of information about tracking and stakeouts and fingerprints, but not much on codes. Daisy, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to look for clues, but it's really hard when you're trying not to touch anything. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yuck! Found anything yet? Oh, just a dead bug. In a sandwich. Ew! Hmm, there's nothing inside. Maybe Pete's out shopping. Pete sure locked that up tight. You know, I could pick that lock, but I'll need a crowbar. If only there was some way of telling which buttons Pete presses to use that door. Well, then we could use the same numbers. <laughs> yup. Yup. Didn't you say something about fingerprints before? Yup. The detective kit says that if you sprinkle powder on things, you can see where people have touched them. Dear Goofy, can you use this for something? Why, sure. I can use it to dust for fingerprints. Let's see. I'll try that keypad. Someone's sure to have touched that. Stand back. Professional at work. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, look. Now we can see what keys they've been pressing to open this door. We'll all be. We sure can. Are you okay? Uh-huh. I'm all right. I think. But I can't get out of this cage. Oh, I guess Pete wants to keep an eye on me. <laughs> you got that right, little missy. And there's nothing your puny friends can do about it. Oh! 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 oh ouch! Oh, ouch! Oh, wow! Oh, ow! You'll be locked up there till your ears turn gray. <laughs> You better let Minnie go! Ya, ya, ya big palooka! Bully! Bully! <laughs> Pete, you let Minnie go! <laughs> now you listen here. Why don't you take your pathetic little band of do-gooders and vamos? I'd like to enjoy the towns. Uh, my money in peace. So, it was you. You stole the town's treasury from the bank. What good's the key to the city if you can't use it? Now that I'm mayor, the whole town is mine. <laughs> you let Minnie go, or else. Or else what? Why, I oughta. Hey! Oh. Hands off my loot! It isn't your loot, it's the town treasury. Not anymore, it isn't. Ooh, I've had it with you. Minnie, how can we get you out of that cage? I don't know, Mickey. Pete's got the key. Minnie, what does Pete want with you anyway? He wants to make sure I don't become mayor. Why does Pete want to be mayor? Well, so that he can get the key to the city and use it to steal the town's treasury. Gosh, that's just awful. I'm just positive that's where all this money came from. Well, don't you worry, Minnie. We'll get you out somehow. Psst, Minnie, think 
you could squeeze through the bars of the cage? I tried it already. Besides, even if I could, Pete would surely be waiting for me. Minnie, any ideas yet? Not yet, but no matter what, we'll definitely have to get Pete out of here first. Now stand still, Goofy. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> At least not too much, I hope. Phew. That feels much better. Now this is the life. Ouch! Quick! Let me in! But I... Whoa! <laughs> Gosh, Minnie, are you okay? Uh-huh. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> I guess we won't be seeing him for a while. Aw, oh, Minnie. You're the very best friend a mouse could have. Mr. Mouse, if I might be so bold, I'd just like to say how very good it is that you were able to rescue the contents of the treasury. I do believe you've saved the entire town. Aw, shucks. <laughs> yes, we all certainly owe you a debt of gratitude. You saved all those trees from getting turned into toothpicks, too. You were very brave, Donald, especially up in the flying machine. I believe this rightfully belongs to you, Madam Mayor. Will somebody please bring me a sandwich? And, Madam Mayor, I'm pleased to tell you that we have arranged a special surprise. A surprise? <laughs> what is it? The phenomenal success of our recycling program has allowed us to build this amazing new car. Oh, it's lovely, Mr. Pennypout. <laughs> For me? Come on, Minnie. <laughs> It'll be fun. Well, all right. I wonder if Professor Von Drake was able to repair his flying machine. Aw, oh, don't worry, Minnie. If anyone can fix it, the Professor can. How do you like that? I repaired the flying machine. Huh? Oh, where did everybody go? Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Yeah! Look out below! I'm all right. <laughs> 